This is Brett of the Brook Bush Institute, and in this video, we're going to go over vibration or percussive release for the hamstrings. I'm going to have my friend Yvette come out. She's going to help me demonstrate. I'm going to have Yvette go ahead and just lie belly down. So she's going to be in prone. This is a really easy technique, to, guys. So you guys will notice I have the, the flat piece on here, the flat, stiffer piece. I tend to like this piece more because of how consistent a feel it gives. As I've mentioned in a few other videos, a little counterintuitive, we start on the highest settings and stay superficial to start, and then we're gonna work our way back on the lower settings but go deeper. I'm gonna go ahead and just control Yvette's ankle here and the amount of knee flexion she has to control the amount of tension in the hamstrings. And I'm gonna go ahead and start on the lateral hamstring because we kinda know from research and some of the common dysfunctions that we see that the biceps femoris, the lateral hamstring, tends to be the more overactive of the hamstring group. So you guys can see here, I'm just gonna kinda move my way through the entirety of the muscle, nice and slow, trying to get the whole thing to calm down a little bit, get all that tissue melting underneath the hypervolt here. But I am taking note of any tissue that I think gives me a little kickback, where I feel a vet maybe trying to guard on me that might be a little bit more sensitive or maybe I see some fascicles pop out, um, get that twitch response because I hit a trigger point. Those little points, I'm gonna keep in the back of my head and I'm gonna go back and tackle them a little deeper with a more pointed piece using this hypervolt. How's that feel a bit? Good? Be careful, sometimes it takes a couple seconds for people to desensitize, so if you you go right at them with it, they'll either feel pain or they'll feel ticklish. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple seconds to desensitize, so don't just dig in real hard. You guys will notice I'm basically using the weight of the hypervolt, which weighs almost nothing. The frequency and amplitude are gonna do most of the work for you. All right, so now that I've gone through the whole muscle, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna take the flat piece out. I'm gonna use the bullet piece. You could probably also use this uh, forked piece if you wanted to, but we're gonna use this bullet piece. And I noticed just a couple of trigger points. Now your common trigger points in the biceps femoris happen to be about two thirds the way up the thigh, right in the uh, kind of center of the biceps femoris long head. And then the other one tends to be about a third of the way up from the knee, and that's the trigger point for the short head of the biceps femoris. So we'll go back, just on setting one, and I put a little slack in that tissue so I can get a little deeper. And I'm just gonna try to get that denser area to melt underneath this now smaller piece, which means more pressure per square inch. All right, so we got that little area done. And then I'm gonna come back. I felt something right up in here. There we go. All right, so we get all this to calm down. And you guys are gonna see pretty quick that inside of just under a couple minutes here, I'm done. I've got a nice release from her biceps femoris. Now, if you wanted to, could you follow up with static manual release techniques or do your pin and stretch techniques or maybe even instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization? Absolutely, the effect that we get from this technique is a little different. Uh, I, I will show you guys one other technique you could do for the hamstrings. Go ahead and flip over if you don't mind, Yvette. We could do this in the position of a hamstring stretch so go ahead and lay all the way back. I could have a vet, just like I was gonna do like some sort of biceps femoris stretch, right? And I could try to go over her hamstring this way. Just a warning, if somebody is larger than you are, if they're really tight, not that I like to use that word, but they have an overactive biceps femoris so you're getting a lot of kickback this is gonna be a tough position for you to stay in for a very long time. It's not that this is a bad position for your client, it's more of one of those things that's probably not a great position for you. 
So you can use this technique. It does work very well. Obviously, I can put now tension in the biceps femoris from both the knee and the hip side, but I would use it sparingly so that you don't wear yourself out. How does that feel? And of course, after I would do this technique, I would reassess, because obviously with all of these vibration release techniques, we're not just doing a cool technique with a cool tool. We want to be trying to affect the outcomes of an assessment that we're using that address the specific issue that your patient or client came in with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy these hypervolts from Hyperice. Total game changer.